Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of permutations and combinations. And if I talk about the question which is taken from this topic, the question tells us that how many arrangements of the letters of the word independence. So we have been asked to arrange these letters of the word independence with a condition that is told to us that the vowels should always be together. So we need to keep the vowels together in this arrangement of the letters of the word independence and we need to find how many arrangements can be made and there are four options also given to us which is 16,800 second option given is 14,800 third option given is 18,000 and the last option given to us is 33,600 we need to figure out which one of the following four options will be the correct answer for the question given to us Let's find out if I try to arrange the letters of the word independence. If I first count how many letters are there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I can see there are basically 12 letters in this word independence, and we are going to use one idea which we have discussed previously also in the videos of PNC that n different things can be arranged in a straight line in n factorial means so when we need to arrange the letters of the word independence we are going to arrange them in a straight line so we can do it in n factorial ways so if 12 letters are to be arranged of this word i can arrange them in 12 factorial ways this would be the answer of the arrangement if there was no condition given to us but we have been given a condition that vowels should always be together so how to solve this type of question when vowels are together let's see so what I will do here is I will figure out how many vowels are present in these letters of the word independence. So I can see I, E, E, E and E. So 4 E and 1 I are all the vowels I have here. So if I put them in one single group. So let's say this is one single group. So that all vowels are together. Apart from this, what are the left letters we are left with? That is N, D, P, N, D, N, C. So we are left with N, D, P, N, D, N, C. So we need to arrange these letters now. Now when I need to keep all of the vowels together with P, I am putting them in a group and I am considering them as one single letter. So if I consider that as one single letter, apart from these letters, how many other letters we have? One. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, this 7 letters and we are considering them to be a single letter. So, 8 letters are there basically. I can arrange those 8 letters in a straight line in 8 factorial ways. So, when I am arranging them, this 8 letters in a straight line, I can arrange them in 8 factorial ways. And this 5 letters which we have considered to be a single letter, the 5 letters which are present in a group, they can rearrange among themselves in any position or any arrangement possible. So five letters can be rearranged among themselves in five factorial ways. So we multiply it by five factorial. Also, we need to divide by some factorials because the letters are repeating here. So if I see E, E is repeating four times. So I divide by the factorial of the number of times the letter is repeating. So we are dividing by four factorial. If I see the other letters also, N, it is repeating three times. So I need to divide it by three factorial as well. And I can see one more letter repeating here. That is D. So D is also repeating two times. So I'm dividing by the factorial of that. So I get it divided by two factorial. Now we just need to solve this to find the number of arrangements in which the vowels are together. And we'll get the answer for the question. So 8 factorial, if I try to write it, 8, so 8 factorial, I can write as 8, 7, 6, 5, 4 factorial. 5, I can write as 5 into 4 into 3 factorial. So I'm just writing it in terms of 4 factorial and 3 factorial because they are also present in the denominator. 
So I can see here and cancel directly four factorial and three factorial. And I think one more factorial was left in the denominator that was two factorial. So if I write that as well, two factorial is two into one. So two into one is two. So if I try to cancel this two, I can cancel it with this four as two. So from this idea, I get the answer turning out to be two. Eight sevens are fifty-six. Six fives are thirty. Five twos are ten. So we have cancelled everything from the denominator. We get the answer for the denominator as one. So we just multiply all the values in the numerator. So we get fifty-six into three hundred. So because of that, two zeros will get in the end. Just let's multiply fifty-six into three. So I get the answer for the number of arrangements. So six threes are eighteen. One carry three fives are fifteen and one six. So you get one six eight and double six. So you get how many arrangements are possible? Sixteen thousand eight hundred arrangements are possible. Where in the vowels are together in this word? So we get the answer matching with option A. So option A is the correct answer for the question given to us. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions on permutations and combinations where you need to arrange the letters of such a word wherein vowels are together. So what you do is you just pick out the vowels, put them in a single group, consider them as one single letter. Apart from that, whatever are the other letters, write them down. Once you count how many letters were there in this case, seven letters, and this is one single letter which we are considering. So eight letters we arrange them in eight factorial ways. Then these five letters in the group also can be rearranged among themselves in five factorial ways. Further, we divided by four factorial because e is repeating four times. Then we divided by three factorial because n is repeating three times, and we divided by two factorial because t is repeating three times. Then we just needed to calculate that, and we got the answer matching with option A. I hope you have understood how to solve these types of questions on permutations and combinations, wherein the vowels are together. I will see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic, and we are going to continue our series of questions on J W E mains as well as 11th and 12th. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Do share these videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of the questions on J W E. Thank you.